Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to be showing you today how to create a custom report type. First, I'm going to show you a report I, I made using a custom report type, um, which is right here. It's called My Accounts and Opportunities. Um, so this uses a custom report type that is called Accounts with Opportunities. Um, so if I go into the report builder here and edit it, you can see the report type right here in this little bubble, Accounts and Opportunities. Um, so this custom report type was built to pull in all accounts that have an associated opportunity. So any account that does not have an opportunity will not be able to be displayed here. Um, and then I filtered it to show my accounts from all time and these other fields here, right? So grouped by account and so forth. Um, but this is not a standard report type. So if you wanted to make this a similar report, you'd have to come into your setup and create a custom report type. So I'll show that now. Um, so if we come over here to our setup uh, button, click setup, and then type in, type in report types. And there we are, report types. Click on that. So I've already made one right here, but I'll go through the process of, of making it and just show you what that looks like. So when we click the new custom report type, this is where we're brought. So the report type focus, this is the primary object. Um, in our case, we wanted to show all accounts with opportunities. So the primary one we're looking at would be account. Um, I'm gonna just type in accounts with opportunities. Since I already made one to not have a duplicate error, I'm just gonna put in two there, okay? So accounts with opportunities, um, and then I'm gonna say, this shows all accounts that have associated opportunities. Okay. Then storing category, this is just the uh, report type category. It's going to be stored in accounts and contacts. Um, if I wanted to still work on it um, and not have it be uh, available to other users in my org, I could just keep it in development, but I'm going to deploy it so that other users, if they need to create a report like this, they can use this report type. And click next. And this is the important part here. Um, so this is our primary object, which is accounts, which we had chosen before. We can't change this here. Uh, click to relate another object. So when I do that, this tells us which objects on the account we can use to um, associate with the account. Okay, so we've got opportunities here. Some of these are also related lists, um, like contact roles, uh, other things here. So we have we have a lot of options um, for our for our case. We'll just do opportunities, um, and this relationship here is also a very important part. So the first option, the default option, is each A record, which in our case is accounts minus A, must have at least one related B record. So it must have at least one opportunity. Uh, in other words, this report type, when we build a report, if we keep it on this default relationship option, it will only show accounts that have opportunities. And it will not show any accounts that do not have any related opportunities. If we did, and you can see that here by the Venn diagram, right? It's the, the overlap. We did the second option, A records may or may not have related B records, it would also pull in any any accounts that do not have opportunities. So for example, our example, we're just gonna leave it to uh, the first one here. So only those accounts that have associated opportunities we're gonna pull, show in that report. And then I'm gonna click save. And there we go. Okay, so that, that report type is saved now. If I come over here to our reports and I build a new one, so I'll click new report, and then since we saved it in the accounts and contacts category, come down here and I have accounts and opportunities too. That's the one we just made. And so you can come in here, start your report, and build out your report from there. And that is how you create a custom report type.